Hi, I'm Angie Beto, and we're back with Jeremiah Hammer, who is running for the at-large city council seat. We just have a few more questions to ask you, Jeremiah, and we'll wrap up this interview. Okay. Thanks again for spending time with us. Tell me if you had a magic wand and money was no issue, what would you change about McKinney? Well, selfishly, <laughs> I don't know. I would one guess giant I, garden. Yeah, one no. giant garden, right. The, uh, I don't know if I'd change anything about it. You know, I haven't found one thing I disliked about this city, and I mean mm -hmm. that in all honesty. It's been like a, a complete night and day change from where I came from at the shops at Legacy to here, and um, you know, I wish, the only thing I could wish is that more people would catch on to the quality of life and the things that we're doing and, mm -hmm. and the things we place value in here. It's not about, you know, working 80 hours a week and just being busy and living off of an iPhone, but it's just about living and uh, enjoying everything that's around you and the people here are absolutely unbelievable. So I, I don't really know if I'd have anything to change other than maybe a free mortgage. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we could use money for whatever we like, right? Yeah. Um, for your generation, quality of life seems to be very important. Mm -hmm. So, do you feel that we are doing a really good job of that here in McKinney? I think to a degree we are. Um, it goes back to, you know, it depends on where you look. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's a lot of areas that uh, either, I don't say necessarily get swept under the rug, but they kind of go unnoticed. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, you ask anybody, well, it's even people on the west side don't come over to the east side very much. People here on the east side, I, you know, you don't see people going across the railroad tracks that much. And I think, yeah, for a lot of us, the quality of life is great. Mm -hmm. I think there's a lot of people here who the quality of life isn't. And um, it could be due to circumstances that are uh, of their control, and a lot of them could be beyond their control. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end mm -hmm. of the day, they're still people, and they still deserve every opportunity uh, that's afforded to the people that live here. And uh, for that, you know, I think it's, you know, some of us do, but not everybody does. And right. if everybody at least gets the chance to have that, then that's important. I'm sure you've read some about our uh, McKinney's version of Stonehenge, I call it, or the Gateway Project. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm referring to? Mm -hmm. uh, 121 and Highway 75. Mm -hmm. And as we go forward, now that the lawsuit has been settled and the decisions are being made, whether to build a convention center there or a conference center hotel or, you know, what we might need, what are your thoughts on that? What do you think our city needs? Well, you know, I don't think there's any magic answer to it. Um, the, uh, the things that I would want to consider are the proximity to other hotels and conference centers. Mm -hmm. You know, as much as Fairview isn't McKinney, it's still right there. And, right. Uh, you know, the question is how much revenue is it really going to bring in and what is it actually doing for the city? Um, see, things seem to be driven entirely around, if not mostly around, how much tax revenue we can get off of something. And I understand taxes are important so that we can operate the city, mm -hmm. but when you put money as your A number one priority for anything, then you lose sight of a lot of really important stuff like quality of life, like you know the impact on the citizens, the environment and the traffic and all that other stuff. And uh, whereas if you put doing the right things and, and, uh, as your top priority, okay. the money component generally becomes a very good byproduct of okay. doing things right. And that's something that I've lived by all my life is that I've never, I don't ever worry about money or making a ton of it. It's just, you do the right things and at the right, in the right order as often as you can. And that sort of stuff just follows afterwards. So I think it's, you know, I'm glad the lawsuits are, are done and whatnot. What needs to go there, I don't know yet, but uh, I think we need to make a smart decision and not just one that says, oh, we need to put a bunch of retail again, or we need to put a convention center even though there's one right down the road. So when you make the comment, do the right things first, mm -hmm. are, are you saying put people first? 
Or am I putting those words in your mouth? I would say that when doing the right thing means doing what serves the greater good. Okay. And that's that's really what is the, the component here. Is, is this really, you know, what we put into this spot, is, mm -hmm. what is that going to yield for us? If it's just tax revenue, that's nice, but I, I don't think you're going to have a lot of people that are excited about it because, the, you know, you don't see those tax revenue into something until years down the road. Um, I think it's more important to really focus on what's best for McKinney and a component of that is the tax revenue that sure. the sales tax base that it brings in but that ain't all of it mm -hmm. and, and it's it's ridiculous to think that that's the only thing that should drive that and it seems to be what is top of mind with most people when they look at well, how can we develop this and it's uh, there's more to life than that okay tell us something about you that no one else knows or at least the vast majority of public no one else knows mm -hmm. uh, I'm a pretty transparent guy in that regard. <laughs> Another uh, open book before us. Yeah, yeah well, it's, uh, I guess, well, not many people here know that uh, I'm from New York originally. I rodeoed in high school. Really? Yeah, I was president of my high school rodeo team. I also managed an 11,000 acre ranch out in Stephenville with 40 head of cattle and a boarding stable in Bartonville, Texas. Um, I think that would be a good start. I think so. So yeah. we're missing your boots and chaps and whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought they might be a little much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as we wrap up your interview with Town Square Buzz, is there something that you would like to share with our readers finally? You know, yeah, I think one of the biggest, you know, you asked one of the biggest challenges, okay? I think this is nationally as well is uh is uh, voter apathy there's you know the this election that's coming up in all likelihood about three and a half percent of our citizens are actually going to go to the booths to poll mm -hmm. and um, that means three and a half percent of the 135,000 people here are making decisions for a lot of folks and if you want to be vocal about something that's great but stand up and be counted and go out and vote it's important to do it and get involved and and ask questions and don't be afraid to ask questions because you only know as much as you want to know. Sure. So. Well, thank you. Thank you. And on that note, remember early voting starts May 2nd. Voter uh, election day is May 14th. So get out and vote, make your voice heard. And don't forget to post your comments below. We would like to know what you, our readers think. We, we are interested in what you have to say. Thanks for joining us and check back for our next interview.